masters use and prepared unto every good work. Flee also youthful laws, but follow righteousness, faith, charity, peace with them that call on the Lord out of what kind of heart? A pure heart. We we'll come to point number three now. The purpose of the triumphant Son of God. The purpose of the triumphant Son of God. We're we'll coming to chapter three of First John. First John chapter three, the second part of verse eight. For this purpose. The Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. True? Real? Possible? In your life? In your family? Every work of the devil will be destroyed. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Any sin that is the work of the devil, you will not accept, you will not hide, you will not hold, you will not tolerate in your life, in your spirit, in your soul, in your body, in your family, somebody is bringing in something. And then you say, what's that? And then you pick it up, you look at it, front and back. This is not of God. Anything not of God is of... Anything not of God is of... Of the devil. And that thing that comes into your home, and you say, this is not of God, this is of the devil... It will be destroyed from your family. Amen. On your wife, every work of the devil destroyed. Amen. That wife is supposed to love you and to take care of you until a long time. You know, we say until death do us part. But you can tell that death, I love this, my wife. You cannot come in and take my wife now. Go. Your wife will abide and death will go away in Jesus' name. And anywhere you go and every time you move about, you move in the consciousness that every work of the devil will be managed, tolerated, Kept in a corner, loved, excused. What's to be done to the work of the devil? I said, what's to be done to the work of the devil? From the top of your head to the tip of your toe. Every work of the devil is destroyed in Jesus' name. Look at how Jesus did it. I'm reading to you from Acts chapter 10. Acts chapter 10. And I'm reading from verse 38. Acts chapter 10, verse 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about, who went about, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. Sickness is the work of the devil. Disease is the work of the devil. Demonization is the work of the devil. Every work of the devil, disease or demons, they're canceled from your life in Jesus' name. That's why he came. He came to destroy 
the works of the devil, they are gone. I said they are gone. And if you left anyone back at home today because you couldn't even bring them because of the work of the devil, before you got back home, she is well in Jesus' name. Luke chapter 4. Luke chapter 4. I'm reading from verse 18. Luke chapter 4, verse 18. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted and to preach deliverance unto the captives and the recovering of sight to the blind to set at liberty them that are bruised. That's what he came to do. He came to destroy all the works of the devil, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. And he closed the book, and he gave it again to the minister, and sat down, and the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fasting on him. And he began to say unto them, and is beginning to say unto us, This day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears. This day is this scripture fulfilled in your life. This day is this scripture fulfilled on your wife, on your husband. This day is the scripture fulfilled in your children. This day is the scripture fulfilled in your grandchildren. The works of the devil are destroyed in Jesus' name. Verse 32, and they were astonished at his doctrine. They were astonished at his doctrine for his word was with power his word was with power but started six and they were all amazed and spake among themselves saying what a word is this for with authority and with power he commanded unclean spirits and they come out and they come out Colossians chapter 2 in Colossians chapter 2 remember for this purpose the son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil Colossians chapter 2 reading from verse 15 Colossians chapter 2, verse 15, and having spoiled principalities and powers in your life, having spoiled principalities and powers in your family, having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in it. He made a show of them openly. He will disgrace the devil openly in your family. Yeah. Openly, he will disgrace all the enemies of your progress in Jesus' name. Yeah. Even people will testify about you. They say, Look at that man. If you have any evil intention, don't go near him. Otherwise, something always happens. That those who want to oppress him, destroy him, they're always disgraced openly. Even unbelievers will be warning fellow unbelievers concerning you. That man, that woman, if you don't want open disgrace, open shame, don't go near him to do evil because he carries the power of God. 
in your life, I will record a testimony. I said in your ministry, I will record a testimony. He made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in each. He came to destroy the works of the devil and every work of the devil around you, anywhere near you, the fire of the Holy Ghost will burn them up. Yeah. Hebrews chapter 2. Hebrews chapter 2. And I'm reading from verse 14. Hebrews chapter 2, verse 14. For as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that he through death might destroy him that has the power of death, even the devil. He has now destroyed him that has the power of death, even the devil. That's why I can assure you that you will not die prematurely. Yeah. All your days on earth will be accomplished victoriously in Jesus' name. Yeah. Sin is conquered and all the consequences of sin are removed away from your life. Do you know that the curse that is troubling people in the world cannot touch you anymore? Because for this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. We're looking at Galatians chapter 3. Galatians chapter 3. I'm reading from verse 13. Galatians chapter 3, verse 13. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Be made a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Somebody that is a possessor today, a receiver today, you'll be full. I said you'll be full. It's going to make you full in Jesus' name. Remember the purpose why he came? He came that he might destroy the works of the devil. We're looking at Luke chapter 13. Luke chapter 13, verse 11. And behold, there was a woman which had a spirit of infirmity. Infirmity. There's a spirit behind that. Deformity. There's a spirit behind that. Disease and sickness, there's a spirit behind that. Impotence, there's a spirit behind that. Which had a spirit of infirmity, 18 years. I was bowed together and could in no wise lift up herself. And when Jesus saw her, he called her to him and said unto her, Woman, Thou art loosed from thine infirmity. The women did not say amen. Yeah. Let the brothers say amen too. Yeah. You are loosed from thine infirmity. Yeah. Verse 13, and he laid his hands on her, and immediately she was made straight and glorified God. Verse 16, ought not this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan has bound, bondage is a work of the devil. And Jesus said, ought not this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, 
whom Satan has bound low these 18 years be loosed from uh, this bond on the Sabbath day. Every bondage will be taken away. Yeah. And all spirits of infirmity will be conquered from your life in Jesus' name. Yeah. Isaiah chapter 10. I'm reading from verse 27. The curse is a work of the devil. Disease, a work of the devil. Sin, a a work of the devil. Powerlessness, a work of the devil. Fear, a work of the devil. And for this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Occultic power is the work of the devil. Anything occultic anybody threw on you, any charm, a work of the devil, Destroy today from your life in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 10. I'm reading from verse 27. Isaiah chapter 10, verse 27. And it shall come to pass in that day. And it comes to pass on this day. That his body shall be taken away from off thy shoulder. And his yoke from off thy neck. And the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Any yoke the devil has put in your neck. And he's using that yoke to make you plow his field. To make you cultivate his farm. That yoke will be removed from your neck today. Anybody you know, on your shoulder. Have you ever noticed there are some people, they're walking about. It's like there's a load on their shoulder. And it's pressing them down. And anytime they're moving on and moving on, and when they're about to get to that thing they've been praying for, and the thing they've been desiring, and the thing they believe the Lord is going to give unto me, as they're willing to catch it like this, almost catching it, then the yoke is drawn back, and they lose it again. Your yoke is broken today in Jesus' name. <laughs> Wanting to get married. I'm praying, I'm praying, I'm praying. And now you got it. And say, now I got this one. And it's so bright, it's shining. And I know that this one is mine. But you know, before you prayed like that, you got somebody. And eventually you lost. And then you got to even a courtship. And eventually the courtship was broken. And now again, there is another one. They put in a yoke on your neck and they're always drawing you back. When you are about to get that thing, it's the work of the devil. I said it's the work of the devil. And that yoke is broken today. And the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. There's anointing present here today, and every yoke in your life will be canceled and destroyed in Jesus' name. Yeah. And now you understand. You know, this congregation, our congregation, many years ago, 30 years ago, 20 years ago, we were a young congregation. And the pastor was a young pastor, although we didn't realize it at that time. And now as we are, you know, getting older, the congregation deeper life is becoming an older congregation. We have some people now, they're in their 70s, in their 80s, and some people in their 60s, and some people in their 50s. You know what we discovered? The sicknesses we didn't recognize, we didn't even know about, we didn't even know their names. 30 years ago, we're beginning to hear of them, and they say it's because we're getting older, we're getting older, is the work of the devil. Is that the gift of Jesus? I said, is that the gift of Jesus? That thing will go away. Yeah. Look at Exodus chapter 23. 
Exodus chapter 23. And I'm reading here from verse 22. I'm reading from verse 22. But if thou shalt indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy unto thine enemies. The Lord is releasing us from fighting any enemy. He will fight the enemies on your behalf himself in Jesus' name. And that's the difference between us who recognize that the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil between us and other people outside who are forever, forever, forever fighting enemies. Don't fight any enemy anymore. The Lord will fight your battle for you. But if thou shalt indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy to thine enemies and an adversary to thine adversaries. Mine angel, notice their capital A, mine angel shall go before thee and bring thee in unto the Amorites and to the Hittites, and to the Perizzites, and to the Canaanites, and to the Hivites, and to the Jebusites, and I will cut them off. Yeah. Thou shalt not bow down unto their gods, nor serve them, nor do after their works, but thou shalt utterly overthrow them. Utterly overthrow them. We don't accept any activity of the devil. We don't accept or tolerate any uprising of the devil and say, it's the last days. That's how the world is. Satan wants to have a seat in the church. Demons want to have a seat in the church. And opposers of sound doctrine want to have a seat in the church. In the last days, let them alone. No, we're going to overthrow every one of them. In your little corner, house fellowship. In your little community, local church. And in your church, district church, or in the group, you don't say it's the last days, and this is what will be happening in the last days. It's happening in the world, and the world is coming into the church. And then throw up your hands in helplessness. There's nothing we can do. We will utterly overthrow them all. You will overthrow them. I said you'll overthrow them and quite break down their images. Verse 25, and you shall serve the Lord your God. And he shall bless thy bread and thy water. He shall bless thy bread and thy water. Do you remember Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? They were in Babylon. And they were going to give them the dainties of the king to eat. But those things have been sacrificed to idols. They said, no, we will not have that. Give us vegetable and water. That's enough. And they gave them just that. When they examined them, 10 days after, they were healthier than all those who are eating the dainties of Babylon. And when he blesses our bread and our water, look up here so I can talk to you. I said when he blesses our bread and our water, you'll be healthier than all the people that are depending on drugs and hospitals in Jesus' name. Yeah. And I will take sickness away from the midst of them. 
Verse 26, and there shall nothing cast their young, nor be barren in thy land. The last line there is so beautiful. I want to hear your voice. The last line there. Say it confidently. You will not die before you finish your work. You will not die before you finish your assignment. Every work of the devil in your life destroyed in Jesus' name. And the number of my days he will fulfill. The number of my days he will fulfill. The number of my days he will fulfill. It's starting now. I said it's starting now. I said it is starting now. Behold, what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us that we shall be called the sons of God. Therefore, the world knoweth us not because it knew him not. Beloved, now, somebody shout now. Somebody say now. Raise your voice now. Now. now are we the sons of God. And it does not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him. I'm going to get to heaven. I will get to heaven. I will see Jesus. I will see the almighty God. I will see the Holy Ghost. I will see all the angels. I will see the patriarchs of old. I will see the prophets of old. I will see the Lord. We shall see him as he is. And every man that has this hope in him purifies himself even as he is pure. Whosoever is born of God does not commit sin. For his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin. I cannot sin. I will not sin. I must not sin. He cannot sin because he is born of God. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Somebody shout, Amen. Amen. You are the one that the Lord is going to bless in the service today. Amen. You are going to have that purpose of freedom fulfilled in your life. Amen. Where are you? Rise up and tell the Lord, today is a special day. It's a glorious day, powerful day. Tell the Lord, tell the Lord. The Lord is doing something in your life today. Something you never dreamed of. Something you never imagined. Transformed sons of God. The cross has the power to transform your life, change your life, turn your life around. Be a spectacle of miracle. And let that spectacular scene happen in your life. Miracle of transformation. Remember days of old? Days of your early conversion? When life turned around? When life changed? And even people around you, they could point at you as a changed man, as a changed woman. Recall that day. Recollect that day. 
rediscover that day transformation if you have never given your life to Christ do it right there right now whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved your lifestyle your attitude your nature let there be transformation don't let calvary be in vain in your life let the blood cleanse you let the blood wash you let the blood purge you let the blood purify you alive not tired alive not weary alive not discouraged not depressed new life new life in Christ transformation in Christ no rebuke No blame. No harm. No filthiness. No sin. No weakness of character. Transformed sons of God let the spirit bear witness with your heart a new work of grace is done a new life in Christ is experienced a new creation the change must be visible Visible in your family. Visible to your friends. The transformation. The new life. Overcoming, conquering. That new life must be visible to everybody around you. He speaks with a new language language of love language of kindness language of compassion language of truth there's a new courage new stamina no more depression No more distress, no more discouragement, no more wrong attitude, new and renewed, no more fear, no more timidity. For God has not given us the spirit of fear or the spirit of bondage. But the spirit of love, the spirit of faith, the spirit of power, the spirit of a sound mind, victorious, overcoming, free and free indeed. free free from all the sins of society free free from all the disgraceful activities of society free free from all the corruption 
a society free. Free from all the oppression. Free from premature days. The spirit in the world for a minor negligible sin, they go to kill themselves free from the spirit of premature days. A little sin, they divorce their wives, divorce their husbands free from the spirit of divorce rampaging families in the world free rejoice in that freedom embrace that freedom total freedom for your spirit for your soul for your body freedom For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Darkness, that's the work of the devil. Disease, that's the work of the devil. Depression, that's the work of the devil. Demonization, that's the work of the devil. Departure from the face, giving heed to doctrines of the devil. That's of the devil. Premature days. That's the work of the devil. For this purpose. For this reason. The Son of God. Our Savior, our Lord. Our healer, our deliverer our sanctifier was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil let him do it and he'll make you strong make you unconquerable make you free and free indeed he cannot fail. He has never failed. He did it, finalized it on the cross of Calvary. And he said, it is finished. Let him have the upper hand in your life. Satan will not have the upper hand. The flesh will not have the upper hand. Demons will not have the upper hand. The world, with all its evil power of darkness, will not have the upper hand. Let him be the Lord of your life, the victor in your life. The captain of your salvation. The beginning and the end of everything. 
Alpha and Omega. He has never lost any battle. He makes us, he makes you more than a conqueror. Receive the victory. Don't gamble with it again. Receive total freedom. Don't play with it. Receive the power to be more than a conqueror in every area of your life. In Jesus' name we pray. Transformed sons of God, in Jesus' name we pray. Overcoming saints of God, in Jesus' name we pray. Conquering. Conquering. Overcoming. Triumphant. Never to be defeated again. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you for your revelation. We thank you for the truth. We thank you for the word. We thank you for the power of the Son of God in our lives. You have come to this world to set us free. And Lord, we proclaim liberty, freedom, dominion, healing, health, for every child of God in Jesus' name. Where we succumbed before, we will not succumb anymore. What we failed before, we're not going to fail anymore. Where we're defeated before, we will not be defeated again. New strength, new power, new authority, new anointing, new possibilities in every life in Jesus' name. We're more than conquerors. Sin will not have dominion over us. Satan will not have dominion over us. Self will not have dominion over us. Sickness will not have dominion over us. And any attack, spiritual attack coming from any direction will not have dominion over us in Jesus' name. Free. 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 In the church, free. In the home, free. In the night, free. In the vehicle, free. In every territory, every community. No matter what is happening in that community. When we walk through that community, every power of darkness will clear out of the way. Lord, I pray that every yoke that followed anyone here today, that yoke is broken in Jesus' name. Any curse coming from any direction upon anyone here, Lord, that curse is removed. 
a new life, a new vitality, a new strength, a new power, a new authority. Grant unto everyone in Jesus' name. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy every work of the devil for every brother and every sister, for every boy and every girl, even those who are listening as we're streaming, every work of the devil is destroyed in your life. All our members, all our ministers, all our workers, all our full-time workers, all our families, all daddies and mommies, all children, sons and daughters, go in this freedom. Go in this power. Where there was sadness, let there be joy. Let there be happiness. And the joy of the Lord will be your strength in Jesus' name. All the bad news you heard and made you cry, bad news vanish away. Good news in your life. Good news in your family. Good news in your surrounding. Every lack of your life is supplied. This day, the Lord make you first. Be the head and not the tail. Let the goodness of the Lord follow you. Henceforth, from now on, forever in Jesus' name. As you have believed, so it is done in your life. Confirm each and every life, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Joy in the city. Joy in your life, joy in your family, and joy everywhere in Jesus' name. It's a prophecy specifically for you this December 2022. If Jesus takes off his hand from upholding the earth, the stars, the moon, the sun, everything will collapse. But fret not, GCK Authority has announced the next level move. Christ comes and intervenes in your life. In your spiritual there, you will not die. Christ, your great transformer, this December will lead you to triumph. Zoom into your December 2022. From the land of honor and integrity comes two in one GCK live in Ekiti State, Southwest Nigeria. The Global Crusade and Retreat, December 22 to 27, 2022. A new level of Impact Academy for you. Young adults and professionals. Titled, Recharge to Excel. December 27, 2022. At 0600 hours GMT. All broadcasts live on satellites, radio, television, and all our social media platforms. Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi says, You'll praise God. You'll give your testimony. And more, as excellent worship comes from the USA with Jonathan White, our guest music minister. GCK, the gospel to every creature. Joy 
in the city. Joy in your life, joy in your family, and joy everywhere in Jesus' name. It's a prophecy specifically for you this December 2022. If Jesus takes off his hand from upholding the earth, the stars, the moon, the sun, everything will collapse. But fret not. GCK Authority has announced the next level move. Christ comes and intervenes in your life. In the hospital there, you will not die. Christ, your great transformer this December will lead you to triumph. Zoom into your December 2022. From the land of honor and integrity comes two in one GCK live in Ekiti State, Southwest Nigeria. The Global Crusade and Retreat, December 22 to 27, 2022. A new level of Impact Academy for you. Young adults and professionals. Titled Recharge to Excel. December 27, 2022. At 0600 hours GMT. All broadcasts live on satellite, radio, television, and all our social media platforms. Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi says, You'll praise God. You'll give your testimony. And more, as excellent worship comes from the USA with Jonathan White, our guest music minister. GCK, the gospel to every creature. Joy in the city, joy in your life, joy in your family, and joy everywhere in Jesus.